What's up? It's your buddy Mark. I'm I'm really getting sick of talking about Kitty Noel, but um I, I was mad at myself that I didn't bring this up in the last video. Um, someone commented under not my last video, the one I did before, that um Savannah and Adam Calhoun are working on a song together, and I was like, really? That sounds fucking great, because I really like Savannah's diss track, um, and. I, I didn't like her country song, but that's, that's, that's just not my cup of tea. I, I do like some country music, but not so much the female country artist. Um, but anyway, so I didn't react to that because it's just, it's just not my type of music. And um, so uh, Savannah Dexter was seen wearing a t-shirt with Adam Calhoun's label on it. So I, I guess that whoever wrote me was right on. And um, I wanted to bring it up in the last video, and I just fucking forgot. And um, and then Katie, Katie, she needs to sh shut up. Then it switches from talking about Savannah and uh, Adam to church. Church talks about Katie making a new song. The, it sounds, the beginning, it sounds just like Hey Boy, Hey Girl for Little Tweets. I heard it's gonna be another um, like duet, maybe girl and girl. I don't know. They didn't show much of it, but the beginning, like before any singing, the music, it was just it was the same fucking song. And ah, uh, she's she's so fucking annoying. And um, she said, uh, "Hey boy, hey girl, hey boy, hey bro, was a beautiful girl." A beautiful song but up church owns all the rights and i seen a video of her i don't know when it was saying that she wrote half of that song she's like i'm the one who thought of the hey girl and she said she wrote the girl parts okay that makes sense and she said she wrote said she wrote the hook her rap and church did his part so how would he end up owning all the rights she's, she's a liar she's a liar 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 <sighs> and then, so obviously church still mad and now, even to make things even worse, she's trying to say, open the door, saying she's the first country singer, the first gay country singer. And uh, Church named off a bunch. I, I, I'm sure there was other country singers, but I didn't know any by name. So I'm happy that Church named off a bunch. I never heard of any of them, but you know, not because they're gay, just, I don't know, but, you know. Um, and then it being 2020, it, it makes kind of a little sense for her to do this, you know, completely come out the closet. And I'm sure the, the new Hey Boy, Hey Girl song that sounds just like it will be with her girlfriend, who, who's pretty hot. And Katie is really pretty. I mean, if you don't agree to that, like, I don't, you're lying. Um, it's just... She just needs to fucking get away from social media and not even, oh, and then I wrote, she's not even the first gay girl country artist. Church name a couple of those, like, so she's just, and look, these are facts. Why, you, you can't lie about stuff that people can literally um, get the facts for and tell you, you know, like, Kind of reminds me of like Brie Larson um, saying, I'm like, I'm the first female solo superhero movie. It's like, no, Wonder Woman came out six months, eight months before you. You're, you're second. You didn't get to break that glass ceiling you wanted to break so much. But I didn't hate her as much as the internet did. She got, she got dragged through the rails like Katie did at one point. Brie Larson and Captain Marvel. But I'm getting off track. Um... And anyway, what did I end with? Um, only reason that Katie's, I don't even know. Oh, she said that um, her girlfriend is being crowned Miss Tennessee and she deserves it and blah, blah. I ended up crossing all that out because it got boring. <laughs> and just... Katie, I know, alright, so here's where I'm going to talk. 
I know probably some of you are thinking like I'm contradicting myself because I actually liked it when Katie went after out of kicks out of out of out of kicks out of flicks. Um, I liked him. I liked a lot of his videos, but I lost respect when he did cover all all the drama. Like when a lot of people covered Adams, or not Adam. I'm sorry, Ryan's. Um, like seven minute video where he talked about what happened the night before but Katie went and did an hour long telling her side and he made it three parts he added ads he was trying to make money off it and he even and um and then I when Adam Calhoun talked about it um like all you motherfuckers talking about the shit that don't know Ryan or Katie um you guys just fucking sell your soul for a view and I felt the same way because I was brand new to YouTube that came out and I was like, wow, this could probably get a lot of views. But I didn't even cover Ryan's part. I only covered it when um, Ryan did the skill shot song because that was a banger. So I, I, it's my job to cover what they're talking about. So I covered it as little as I could. And then I covered the Savannah diss track because I, I've said this before, but... Uh, country a female country rapper distract who knows we'll ever get that again that was like a unicorn so i had to cover that i had to talk what she was talking about so i did end up talking more about the personal stuff than i wanted to but it was at least it wasn't like directly after and but um i was willing to give katie's distract equal you know but she deleted it i heard it was horrible that's why she deleted it. But um, back to Artifix. I, I got nothing against him. But um, it's weird. When Church was beefing with Screw. And Screw brought it up. That you know. He brought up like three reactors. I know Artifix is the main one. He was like. You know. These, these dudes are going to. Re always react. Always going to give you great reviews. No matter how the song is. And it's been true. Um, it's like, it's, you're supposed to give a reaction. Like, if you, him, he said the other day, he's on, like, song number 70 of Upchurch. And you've liked them all. There's been none you've had no criticism of. Because I probably covered 10 to 15. There was one I didn't like. And boy, I heard it in the comments. And same with Adam. I probably covered 10 to 12 of his songs. There was one I called Mediocre. And I, I, I got it in the comments, but I, I got to tell the truth. I mean, I'm a fair rapper. He has plenty of songs I don't like. I mean, I don't believe that, that, you know, he liked all 70 songs he covered by Upchurch. And then sometimes we're just driving crazy. He, he, he's not on top of the bars. Like, Screw and Crypt, yeah, they can be critical because they're rappers and you know and that's screwed to know who, who um upchurch was when he made that first reaction against him would have gained more respect more props i'm sure of it but um he was trying to break down the bar as best he could there he just wasn't getting them where uh, ironically artifacts just covered that song the other day and this is nothing drives you crazy he's not even breaking down the bar he's just yeah 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 tell him tell him until a very easy bar comes across. Then he says something. Um, but I got nothing against. Oh, oh, and then. And then. Alright, so Screw opened my eyes a little bit. But I still liked him. Then he started doing the videos. I'm getting scared. And. I remember watching Freddy Krueger at 11. My 13 year old cousins. Uh, my 13 year old cousin and a beautiful friend. And I was trying so hard not to be scared. And I, I never got up and ran away. Like, when I seen when he made the top... I already thought the, the scary videos was kind of corny. Then he did a top ten. Most he got scared. Thought that was so corny. And I seen number one. He jumped out of his chair and ran out of the room. I've never done that for a movie in my life. I mean, but, um... It's all good. I don't want to think I have any dislike against him I just think he's corny and 
uh, when I'm trying so hard to catch bars and he's just doing this, it's like, fuck, dude. This dude's got half a million subscribers. I'm getting kind of close to 50. <laughs> and, but anyway, I, but um, I got off track. But I, yeah, because I got a lot of hate for um, when Katie Noel talked shit about Artifix. I thought it was funny because she called him out. Because I, I just thought it was a little funny. But I did not like Katie Noel at all. As I already hated her. It's like, and then she keeps just shooting her mouth off and making things worse. And, oh, uh, and then back to the main point of this video. Adam and Savannah, I can't wait to hear that. And, um, so, I, I think that's definitely true. Why else should we wear a shirt? Be, you know, have a photo, get a photo with his shirt, uh, shirt with his Lego, uh, not Lego, level, level, I'm sorry. Um, record label on it. So, anyway, so, alright, so, um, that was just a little bit of news. I wouldn't have done it if I remembered to tell you that I heard Adam Calhoun and Savannah were working together in the last video. But I just saw this. It came out three hours ago, so it's fairly new. So I was like, alright, I'm going to react to it. Alright, peace.